started there's a few uh, nice cars that have rolled in some classics some exotics and then quite a few Corvettes lo and behold a show now about upcoming Corvettes that you can't tell us about? Okay, loaded question, let's see. Um, I can tell you that historically with Corvette, we always come out with the, the base model with the Z51 performance package, right? And there's a series of models, variants that perhaps come out after that. That might show up. That might show up, right? That may or may not show up. Slightly more horsepower, slightly better looking, although if that's possible, I don't know. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's exactly. pretty good. Okay. Uh, always some good words from Shad. Uh, if you're thinking, if you're on the fence about the new Corvette, uh, don't be on the fence. Just jump in. Just jump. Yep. Maybe some muscle, but not this guy. Oh no, 
What did you bring in today? 1919 Model T runabout that I've had since the 80s. And uh, it has been out of the garage in about three years. So it was even old in the 80s? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yes, 1919. What, what's the most special thing about this car for you? Uh, it came from some interesting people. Uh, it's a runabout, which is the bottom of the line for Model Ts, and it's lighter and quicker than the sedans and the touring cars of the time. Uh, how many horsepower? 22 horsepower. 22 horsepower, but they're really big horses. Right. 